What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're going to get into the Legion Ghost SteamOS install guide here since Valve has officially released SteamOS for these devices and I already did this for the ROG Ally devices. And we'll also get into some TDP controls that we can do as well since those are lacking features in SteamOS. But we'll take a look at all that including the full install and how to get all of this done on your Legion Go. So let's go ahead and get into it. And so some of the first stuff we're going to want to grab is for installing this and making our installation media. Over on the official SteamOS website now for Steam Deck Recovery, you'll see install SteamOS on other devices. Then they have Legion Go and ROG Ally instructions for getting to your secure boot settings in BIOS because we need to be able to disable that to install SteamOS. So we're going to do that and we're also going to be able to make our installation media. You can click install SteamOS on your device at the bottom here and then it's going to take us to some more links. This is going to be done from me doing this on a Windows device, but we're going to click the, to download the recovery image, and we're also going to need the Rufus utility here. So we're going to grab both of these up and get ready. So the first thing I'm going to download is Rufus. One of the top two options here, the .exes will be fine, the standard or portable. I usually just grab the top standard one with the standard install. Click that for download. Now we're going to go over and download the SteamOS Steam Deck image. Click off the uh, check mark there and then download the image here. And that's the only two things we're going to need to create our media besides our USB uh, drive that I'm going to use to create this. So I've got my USB drive plugged in. We're going to go ahead and open up Rufus that we downloaded Get through Windows here. All right. And then you'll see here it's actually picking up my 32 gigabyte um, scan disk drive that I have, my USB flash drive. Now we're going to select the image that we want for that, which is going to be the SteamOS image we just downloaded here. I don't need to unzip it first or anything. I can just double click on that. It's going to load that in and then we don't need to change anything else. We can just click start and it'll begin writing the image for us. It's going to warn you that it is going to delete everything on that drive. Make sure you've selected the proper drive that you want to use your USB flash drive and that you don't have anything on there you want to keep. Now it's going to go ahead and start writing that image. It does take a little bit of time, but once it finishes up here, we can go ahead and close out and eject our device. So we'll go ahead and close this out and open up and I can see it wrote the uh, SteamOS image on the uh, drive. So I'm just going to go ahead and eject and we'll be ready to take this over for our SteamOS install. But before we do that, we need to disable secure boot in the BIOS of the device. To do that, we're going to hold up on the volume or plus and then we're going to turn on the Legion Go. Keep holding the volume up until we get into the menu. It doesn't take very long. Once that pops up, you can let go. And then we're going to want to click on BIOS Setup. All right, once we get there, you're going to see a little tab on the bottom right that says More Settings. And then over on the left, you're going to see a Security tab. We're going to click on that. You want to scroll down toward the bottom, and you're going to see Secure Boot. It should be enabled. You're going to want to disable that. And then you can just click Exit over on the left-hand side and exit saving changes. Now it's gonna restart and this isn't gonna allow you to use your pin or anything like that. It would be password only, but I don't need back into the device. I'm ready to install SteamOS on here. So all I'm gonna do is shut it down and then go back into the BIOS menu again. So I went ahead and shut it down. We're gonna go ahead and get plugged in here. So I have my USB hub that I'm gonna be using whatever you want to use to be able to attach the media that you created with your USB flash drive. So I'm going to plug that in here. Then we're going to take our USB-C of our hub and plug it into the Legion Go. Now, just like we did earlier to get into the BIOS, we're going to hold up on the volume or plus and turn on the device. It won't take very long once again to get into the menu, but this time we're not going to go into BIOS setup. We're going to go into boot menu. That's going to allow us to boot from the flash drive and install SteamOS. So I can see my scan disk uh, USB flash drive right here. So you're going to click on your media that you created. And then it's going to go ahead and start its process of booting into a desktop mode for SteamOS install. Once it gets there, you got four options at the top. You're going to want to use the one that says wipe device and install SteamOS. It's pretty direct and easy to see there. And everything's just one tap. You don't need to double click anything here. So I'll just tap that. It's going to warn you that the entire device is going to be wiped, so just be aware and be sure that you want to do that before you hit proceed. And then it's going to go ahead and install SteamOS. It only takes a few minutes. Once it's done, we're going to be able to click proceed again, which is going to go ahead and kick it into a restart and take us into SteamOS for the first time. Once it gets into that restart, you will be able to go ahead and unplug your USB flash drive. You're done with that for now, unless you need to reinstall SteamOS on here or maybe on another device. But 
it's on here ready to go we're booting up for our first time and it's just going to be like a first time setup that anybody who's used a steam deck or steam os or anything would be used to so get everything set up get online get signed into your account once you do that you'll actually finally be into steam os officially from valve here on your lenovo legion go and from here you're pretty much ready to go and my device seemed to be running 25 watts tdp so we'll get more into that but yeah, essentially, if you've used a Steam Deck or Steam OS or are familiar at all, this will look uh, the same to you or very familiar. It's all the same layout. Our button up top here instead of Legion Space is going to be our Steam button. So once we click that, we'll get our menu over here, and all this should be pretty familiar. I'm going to go ahead and do a system update. I already know that there's an update for 3.7.8 after the install, so we'll go ahead and do that. Now, with our quick access menu, you can get everything just like the Steam Deck, Steam OS here. But uh, one difference is we don't have any TDP control from Valve yet like we have on the Legion Go S. Hopefully, they'll add that soon enough. So we're going to get into a guide here shortly on how to get some TDP controls if you want to do that. But yeah, like I said, my device was running at 25 watts TDP. On my ROG Ally, it defaulted to 15 watts. And unable to change it so i'm not quite sure what determines that maybe it's also a bio setting but i find it easy to do the uh decky loader and tdp controller for now until valve gives us the official ability to do that and steam os certainly performs really well here on the legion go though as well but let's get into that part of the guide for the tdp so we're going to go to desktop mode we're going to go to power here and we're going to do switch to desktop mode and that's where we're going to install decky loader which is a way to use plugins for steam os so we're going to go ahead and use our browser use whichever browser you want to use on your desktop and i'll have links in the description for these but we're going to need decky loader which is decky xyz they've got their own site with an easy download and then we're also going to want to use the simple decky tdp plugin which has to be manually installed but it's very easy to do and we'll get into that next after we install decky loader so we'll download that it's really quick we can go ahead and close out of the browser for now i'm going to go into my uh, files and go into downloads. I'm just going to click on the decky loader I just downloaded, click execute, and then continue. It's going to come up with a prompt to temporarily create a password to do the install. I go ahead and let it do that, and then it'll delete the password. And then we're going to do the stable release. And it's going to be a really quick install for decky loader. All right, and once that's done, we could go ahead and install manually the TDP controls, but I just always like to go ahead and go back to game mode real quick and make sure that it did install properly and it's showing up. So I hit my quick access menu, and yes, indeed, Decky Loader is installed here at the bottom. We've got our ability to see our plugins and all of that. We can go back in here, quick access again, and you have the store. There's a lot of great plugins here that you can use on SteamOS that would be great for the Legion Go. Maybe we'll get into that in another video, but here I want to concentrate on the simple Decky TDP, which needs to be manually installed. So we're going back to our desktop mode again here, switch to desktop, and we're going to go to the simple Decky TDP site here on GitHub, and I'll put a link in the description as well for this. But the top option here, the quick install, all we have to do is click there to copy. And then we're going to just going to use our console to input that. So I'm going to go in here to our menu, our system, our console. And then we're going to be ready to paste that in up there. So I'm going to kind of move my mouse up here, use my left trigger to click, and then highlight paste, use right trigger here. And there we go. I'm just going to hit A. And that's going to trigger the manual install. But it does want a password, which I haven't created yet. Uh, we let Decky automatically do that and erase it earlier. So we're going to go to our settings tab users at the bottom here and we're going to do change passwords so that we can create our own password create whatever password you want make sure you don't forget it though and then that'll allow us to enter our password to do this manual install so i'll close that out i'm going to go ahead and get this ready and i'll put my password in here x for the keyboard and once you put your password in it'll do a quick finalize on the install of the plugin for decky loader now you're done and we can go ahead and get back to game mode again now that we're back to game mode, quick access down to Decky Loader, and you'll see we do have the plugin showing up, Simple Decky TDP. So this will give you a lot of options for running anywhere from 4 to 30 or 40 watts TDP on the device. You also have some GPU and CPU controls you can mess around with as well. Pretty much turned that stuff off and was focused on the TDP part for now. 
But uh, yeah, since it's lacking this feature in SteamOS right now from Valve, and hopefully they'll add it natively soon, this just happens to be a fairly easy way to spend just a few extra minutes, and you might want Decky Loader anyway for other plugins, and go ahead and use this to help you out and kind of get the kind of performance or battery life or whatever you want out of the device and give you some more control. But yeah, I can take this up to 30 watts. I don't really like to run it more than that, especially handheld. That's kind of how it worked on Windows for the Legion Go. It maxed out at 30 in handheld, but it will do it here on SteamOS as well. It's still going to dynamically adjust as it needs, but yeah, putting it all the way up to 30 watts worked fine here. And I could go all the way down to 10 or 15 or whatever I want there. I often run this device eh, 17 to 22 watts, 25 watts on the Z1 Extreme. But yeah, that's pretty much your guide to get SteamOS installed on your Legion Go. It's working really well so far. Hopefully I'll have some game comparisons coming up. I'm also working on the Legion Go S SteamOS version, the Z2 Go that I'm going to have comparisons to and reviews for and a bunch of other content as well. So anyways, guys, hopefully this guide helped you out to get SteamOS on your Legion Go or really any other device that you want to give it a try on. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.